what is AHI, you might ask? Well, I'm here to explain what AHI is. AHI is Apnea Hypopnea Index. Now let's break this down. Apnea stands for cessation of breathing, meaning that you stop breathing for more than 10 seconds during periods of the night. Hypopnea is shallow breathing, meaning that you're not taking in deep enough breaths and the airflow, about 30 to 90% of the airflow has been diminished from your regular airflow. Also, you'll desat from three to 4%, maybe even more. Index, in this case, is just a measurement of both the apnea and the hypopnea. Now, when you put all of these together, it concludes your AHI. Your AHI is the sum of all the apneas and hypopneas that you have throughout the night. Ultimately, AHI, what it's really determining is the severity of your sleep apnea. An AHI of zero to five is actually considered normal and you have no, you have no need for treatment. An AHI of five to 15 is considered mild sleep apnea. AHI of 15 to 30 is considered moderate sleep apnea. And an AHI of greater than 30 is considered severe sleep apnea. Now, any, anywhere above an AHI of five, five and above, you are gonna be needing some form of treatment. Both apnea and hypopneas collectively put together are called events. Your apnea hypopnea index is calculated by dividing the amount of events by the amount of hours slept. That's how you get that final AHI number. Now that we know what an AHI is, once you have an AHI of five or above, what's the next step? There's various options for the next step. The one thing that remains true with, it, with any option that you choose is you want to seek treatment for your sleep apnea. As far as treatment options, there's the standard CPAP device. There's oral appliances. You can check with your dentist for those. And there's an electrical stimulator implant, which is an invasive surgery, putting something into your body that will stimulate your tongue to stay forward. These are the three main treatment options when it comes to sleep apnea. If you want to know more about the treatment options, click the link up above. If you're watching this video, I'm assuming that you have an AHI of fiber above and were diagnosed by a doctor and now you're looking for more information on what you can do. I understand that it might be a, pro a difficult process and you might not want to go on a CPAP therapy, you, don't, you might not want to do the oral appliance or you might not even want to do the implant. You might not want to do any treatment. But one thing that I can assure you is that you do want to seek treatment because no matter the level, whether you're at an AHI of five or an AHI of 30 or an AHI of 35 or 40, you want to make sure that you get treatment for your sleep apnea. For those of you seeking CPAP therapy as the treatment option for you, one thing I can tell you about CPAP therapy is that a lot of the new latest machines out there will give you your AHI score currently while you're using the machine. Now, some people say the, it's not accurate, you know, opinions vary back and forth, but at least it gives you a, a guide of where you might be at. Don't expect to have an AHI of zero every night. That's not realistic. Just expect to have an AHI of less than five. And, in that, and for that matter, less than four when you're on a CPAP. This means that the therapy is working. Now, for those of you that use the machine and your AHI is still above five, maybe 10, 11, 12, the cause of this might be that the pressure settings on the machine are not accurate for you. This is something that you might want to take that machine to your doctor, have them download the data and see what they can all, what pressure the range they can alter to see if they can get that AHI, AHI down or even try a different type of therapy. Now we're gonna go into the causes of your AHI going up. There's multiple reasons for your AHI going up. One of the main factors is weight. If you're overweight and you're male, you have a higher tendency of having sleep apnea. So your AHI can be higher. Of course, it's not just weight related. It can also be you have a central sleep apnea that, that'll, bring in, that'll cause you to stop breathing because the signal that goes from the brain to the lungs to breathe is stopped. 
Another thing that can cause your AHI to go up would be any medications that you're taking or if you're impaired. So if you went out for a night of drinks, don't expect that AHI to be as low as possible because most likely it'll go, it'll shoot up higher just because of that. Now, those aren't, the, those aren't necessarily to say that you went out for a night of drinks and it's guaranteed to go up. It's just you have a higher likelihood of it going up. Also, your sleep position. The position you sleep does determine your, your amount of events because if you sleep with your head, if you put a, a big pillow or two pillows and you sleep with your head down, your chin down to your neck, most likely your AHI is gonna go up because you're obstructing the airway. These machines have sensors that measure the flow that goes in and out. And when the flow decreases, that's how it's measuring an event. So anytime, any position that you get into that can obstruct your airway is gonna cause an event. A form of your AHI going up when you're using a CPAP machine is actually due to the mass being loose. The mass being loose causes leaks, which the, the, red, the machine registers as a change in flows. So it registers it as an event, meaning you might have a super high AHI on your machine and it's all because you're not putting on the mask correctly. So proper mask fitment and placement is key when it comes to using your CPAP machine. Your AHI going up because of the mask leak is something that your doctor will be able to tell you once they read your download. They'll be able to see that you are having a high mask leak and they'll tell you, look, you need either to change the mask or you need to adjust the mask proper. This is why it's necessary to be on top of changing your supplies on adequate time frames. You don't want to go an entire year without changing your cushion. Cushions in most cases are changed once a month. Uh, sometimes it might even be once every two weeks, depending on the type of mask that you have. It would be a shame that your AHI is going up because you're not changing your mask seal. So that's something that you want to stay on top of. You want to make sure you adjust your mask properly to always get that perfect night, that perfect night sleep. We hope that this video has helped you understand your AHI score a little bit more. For those of you that still have any questions, you can always schedule a 15 minute consultation with me via the link in the description, or you can just leave us a comment down below and we'll be sure to get back to you. Now, thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, please like, subscribe, hit that notification bell so that you don't miss a beat. Coming from the Sleep Play Studios, my name is Oswald Azua. Thank you for watching this video and have a happy snooze.